Well, kids are heading back to school, and while they will have backpacks in hand, it is also important to send them to school with a healthy smile. Here are some tips on how to do that with Dr. Sean Moriarty for more smiles and lidids. Yeah, so let's talk about it. I mean, we take the kids to the doctors. Typically, they need their vaccinations and, you know, a medical checkup. It's also important to make sure dental health is, uh, is okay. Is. Yeah, so <clears throat> what age are we talking? I mean, when do you start? So you want to take your kids to the dentist within six months of them getting their first uh, tooth, but no later than a year old. Oh. Right? <laughs> a lot of people I find don't know that. I actually didn't know that until I got to dental school. But um, yeah, so you want to start these healthy habits um, early on. And, okay. you know, definitely something that, you know, as we get ready to go back to school, it's important to have their dental checkup. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's, there's about 51 million uh, hours per year that are lost because of dental disease with kids. Wow. So you want to get them started on the right track. Okay, right? and use so, some tips on how to do that, really. Yeah, so um, with this stuff, you want to plan ahead. A lot of times um, dental offices, and especially uh, pediatric dental offices, get real busy in August. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to plan ahead maybe in the springtime when they get their spring report card. Make that dental appointment. Make sure they get in to get their checkup. Um, and then, you know, age-appropriate habits habits for kids, you know, when they're under six years old, you want to make sure that they're brushing their teeth mm -hmm. um, on their own, but they don't really have the manual dexterity to do a good job. So you can hop in there and kind of help them out and make sure they're doing a great job. Okay. Six to 12, um, they know what they're supposed to do, but they don't do it necessarily because they right. don't want to. So just kind of helping them to encourage and brushing for two minutes and flossing and just kind of rewarding them um, during that process to keep encouraging them and move them in the right direction. And then as they get a little bit older, um, you know, in their teenage years, they kind of fall off a little bit more. Yeah. Cavities seem to kind of come up. So just kind of staying on them and making sure they're doing what they're supposed to do. Um, how important is the time of day that they go in to see the dentist, um, especially for younger kids? Yeah, so it's kind of like a weird question, right? Like, yeah. um, why would why would that matter? But you know, kids that have nap time don't take them during nap time. Ah. If they're cranky after that, uh, you know, you probably want to avoid those times too. So you want to take them at a time of the day which is <laughs> you know conducive with them being a happy camper. Yeah. Um, also beyond that nap time phases, you know, once a kid has gone to school all day or they've been in camp all day, some kids don't have really the energy or the attention oh. to kind of go to the dentist at that point. Yeah. And it's something that you don't really think about, but it's important because it can be a little bit you know stressful. Taxing. And yeah, yeah. and you want to make sure that they're having really like a positive experience. And speaking of stressful, I mean, there are kids that really truly suffer from anxiety um, mm -hmm. for going to the dentist, and there I know plenty of adults yeah. do. Mm -hmm. um, what do you do? What if what if your child does have anxiety about going? So you know, you can talk to your um, child, and usually it's like tell, show, do. So you're going to okay. tell them what's going on, and then as a dentist, you know, you can kind of show them and show them the dental instruments. Um, kids really pick up on anxiety in parents too, okay. so you want to make sure that you know when you go in that you have a good uh, you know repertoire with the doctor and you sure. have a good conversation and the, you kind of check your anxiety leave it at the door yeah. set a good positive example and kind of put that you know put that smile on your face I love it these are really great tips I think many of us did not know and how often again kids should be going to the dentist so typically like twice a year okay, you know so you want to make sure months. that you know every, every six months is you know, typically when they come but okay. um, especially if it's been a couple months since they've gone or they're a little bit overdue just make sure that they get in you know, before they go back to school to make sure they don't have any kind of like dental emergency or anything. All right, well, where can viewers go for more information on your office? So more information, you can go to moresmiles.com. It's M-O-R without the E, smiles. Or you can call us at 553-1793. All right, well, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate it. We're Bye -bye. back with more Fox 43 Morning News after the break.